This is a guide on replacing an LCD on an Asus VivoBook model number X412D. For the installation process, we'll need the following tools. Plastic picks, an X-Acto knife, a Phillips screwdriver, a heat gun, or a hair dryer. To begin, shut down the laptop and disconnect the power cord. Using an X-Acto knife, remove two plastic covers in the bottom corners of the bezel, one on each side. Remove two Phillips screws located under the covers. We will attempt to remove the bezel by gently pulling it away from the inner edge. However, the bottom edge is obstructed by the laptop body, so the entire display assembly will need to come out first. Flip the laptop over and begin removing the Phillips screws securing the back cover. Most of the screws are of different lengths, and it is important to keep track of their positions. Remove the three longer screws from the bottom edge and set them on the desk in the same pattern that they were in the laptop. Remove a mid-sized Phillips screw from the right edge and set it on the desk. Remove four mid-sized screws from the upper edge. One screw is missing on this laptop. Remove a mid-sized Phillips screw from the left edge and set it on the desk. Using a plastic pick, begin separating the back cover at the bottom edge. A final hidden Phillips screw is located under a round cover in the middle of the back cover. Use an X-Acto knife to remove the cover, then remove the screw, set it on the desk. At this point, the back cover should open up. Set it aside. Use a plastic pick to free up the securing tape on the battery cable. And using the same pick, disconnect the battery connector. Use a plastic pick to gently lift the clear tape securing the video connector near the left hinge. Disconnect the video connector. Use a Phillips screwdriver to remove three screws on the left hinge. There are four holes, but this laptop only has three screws on each side. Remove the three Phillips screws on the right hinge. Use a plastic pick to lift up the hinge, then use a screwdriver to further open up the right hinge. Do the same procedure to open up the left hinge. At this point, the laptop body can be safely lifted off the display assembly. Set it aside. Proceed on removing the bezel. Pull on the inner edge, gently unsnapping the tabs underneath. Start on the left edge, move over to the top, the right side, then the bottom. Set the bezel aside. The LCD panel is mounted on adhesive. You will need to use a heat gun or a hair dryer to warm up the edges of the display assembly from the back. Warm up the right edge, making sure that it doesn't get too hot, then the left edge. Use a plastic pick to begin separating the LCD on the right edge. Warm up the left edge and use a plastic pick to remove the LCD. Peel the securing tape over the video connector and using both hands, gently disconnect the video connector. Place the new LCD near the video cable. Reconnect the video connector and secure it with clear tape. Caution! It is very important not to force any of the connectors. As well, you must not twist or slant the connector when plugging it in. Clean the edges of the new LCD with rubbing alcohol to provide for best adhesion. Insert the new panel into the back cover and using a microfiber cloth, press the right and the left edges of the LCD onto the adhesive. Replace the bezel and remove the protective film from the LCD. Then go around the perimeter gently snapping the plastic tabs underneath. 
Replace the two Phillips screws into the two bottom corners of the display assembly. Place the laptop body onto the display assembly. Bend down the hinges onto their mounts. Replace the three Phillips screws in the left hinge. Then the three more Phillips screws into the right hinge. Gently reconnect the video cable on the motherboard and secure it with clear tape. Reconnect the battery connector and secure the battery cable with tape. Replace the back cover. Secure it with three long Phillips screws at the bottom edge. One mid-sized screw on the right edge. Replace the middle Phillips screw and cover it with its plastic cover. Replace the four Phillips screws on the top edge and the final screw on the left edge. Replace the two plastic covers in the two bottom corners of the display assembly. Reconnect the power cord, turn the laptop on, and we're done.